Okay, now in this video I'm going to show you how the newton raphson iterative formula works. And I'm going to be working with the same equation that we've been working with in this section, x cubed minus 5x squared minus 2x plus 3 equals 0. And our first approximation that we're going to use is x1 is equal to 6. So we need to have that initial number to work with um, to get our home in on our root. So you can see what we need. We've got f of x and we've got f prime of x. So I'm going to need to know what f prime of x is. So that's through differentiating this. So we've got 3x squared minus 10x minus 2. That is the first derivative. Now if you haven't done differentiation by this point um, as direct polynomial division like that, look back into core 1 and core 2 um, for the calculus segments there first. Um, but really you should have got to that point by now, I would hope. Um, so, if we've got x1 is 6, I need f of x1. Okay, so f of 6. So I substitute 6 into this. We've got 6 cubed. Take away 5 times 6 squared. Take away 2 times 6 plus 3 is 27. And I also need f prime of x1. So substitute 6 into this one. So 3 times 6 squared. Take away 10 times 6. Take away 2. And that gets me 46. So that would allow me to find x2. x2 is equal to x1. 6 take away f of x1 over f prime of x1. So 6 take away 27 over 46 gets me 249 over 46, which is equal, which is approximately equal to 5.413 to, well it's equal to that to three decimal places, but approximately equal to 5.413. Now, that's just one iteration of the newton raphson formula. And you could use it again um, to then see what you get. So you'd have to substitute x2 into this, into this one and this one. So let's just do that. Let's see what we get. I'm not promising nice numbers here. So we've got, we need to find f of x2. So 249 over 46. And I'm substituting it into this formula first. So I'm going to have the answer cubed. Take away 5 times answer key second. Uh, squared rather. Take away 2 times answer key plus 3. And that gets me 4.27651.6397. That's the full calculator display. Um, it doesn't give it to me as a fraction. So that's all that I can work with here. Best to be as accurate as you possibly can be in these types of problems. F prime, so substituting into F prime, we're going to have 3 times the answer key squared, take away 10 times the answer key, take away 2. So we get 31.77268431. So x3 is equal to 249 over 46, take away f of x over f prime, so 4.2765 dot 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 over 31.772 dot 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 dot. So I'm going to try and do this in one calculation. We'll see how it goes. 4.2765163972 divided by my 31.772684. 431 and I get 5.27844624 as my full calculated display. So 5.278 to three decimal places and that would be my second uh, approximation. And then you could keep going for, uh, sorry that was x2, and then you can keep going, find x3, x4, x5, and each time you'll be homing in closer and closer 
for the actual root and solution.